It's a welcoming, brisk Friday morning. You wake up, your house is on fire. Everything you own is actively being smoldered and charred beyond recognition, and that sucks. But today's a holiday of goodwill, so remember to always be thankful for the friends that have your back, even in the craziest situations. And if we don't have friends, we have Animal Crossing, where you can spend 20 minutes making beautiful, delectable food just to have it have less interactability than literal grass. Good morning, everybody. Right now at Denny's, everyone's snapping people with knives. The turkey's running around wild, still living. We have to put it down in order to consume our Thanksgiving dinner. Anyways, we're all thankful to have you here today. The viewers at home, especially those who have subscribed. <laughs> what what are you thankful for, huh? The clothes on our back, the hair on our head, the lack of demonic entities within our yard. I feel like I'm actually coming out of my room on Thanksgiving. They're like, oh, look who came out of his cave. What are we wearing for Thanksgiving? I feel it's gotta be like, you know, we're around the table. We're with all of our family. It should be something that really, you know, a little, little bit more put together. Something that would make me look good on a postcard home to mom. All right, everybody. Dig in. Are you one of the locals here? <laughs> I just imagine he's, he's like, very, like, war-torn. Didn't people actually try to kill him when he was, like, first announced? Why is he so pink? He's raw. I don't know what you're expecting. He's, li he's literally living. I'm Franklin. Professional chef. Extraordinaire. You are made of turkey meat. Well, I don't think that's true. The last time I went to the doctor, they said I was all functioning and made of human flesh. I guess I didn't technically say that. In fact, never once have I been told I've been made of human flesh, so I guess I've just been making assumptions up until now, but I appreciate the $100 telling me otherwise. So you're, you're, you're pretty much like, hey, I'm a professional chef, but Nook skimped the prices on hiring me and literally didn't buy any food. In fact, all the inhabitants of this island are just wandering around with empty plates waiting for the food. Frankly, I'm terrified for my life. <laughs> Please get food so I don't have to be the food. Is, is this like a deal that we're striking? How much is it worth to you, Franklin? My bell count been looking kind of low since I did the Nook storage upgrade. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna gobble gobble a little bit of your wallet. Chat says to sniff him! Every I was trying to ignore it. Every single person in this godforsaken live chat. Sniff the turkey. Sniff the turkey, failboat, like you wouldn't, you animals. You're a bunch of freaks. Let's dig up some clams from the filthy ground. But no matter how filthy these clams are, they'll never be as filthy as the chat is. Can we not eat these? Please, can we eat the sea bass? Please, can we eat the sea bass? God, give them one use. I got three manila clams. I got it. Don't worry. Again, can you please accept the fine offering? <gasps> Goodbye, you're not even a damn manila clam, but you can fit in that shell while you go to hell. Send him out. Ah, please, can it be, though? Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Also, what's in this cutscene? It looks like Link's about to open up one of like, like, the big chests. But instead of being 100 rupees, it's just impressively mediocre clam chowder. Got, got, guys? All the villagers on, on the island are just like... Oh my god, we haven't eaten in actually six months since this game came out. Do you know what it's like to eat Denny's Infinite Pancakes for eight straight months? I plan to cook up a pumpkin pie. Can I just keep giving him meals to cook and my villagers are just like, Please, no more. <laughs> Please. We've, we've eaten five straight pumpkin pies and chased it with seven jugs of manila clam soup. And here comes the pumpkin pie. <laughs> hey, turkey man. You need eggs. They're, they're terribly rotten. But that just means they have room to improve in a character arc. This is a weird episode of Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, this is called It's Is Hell. Oh, there you go. Also, we, we just have to make, like, four different dishes. A turkey day wall. It's just, <laughs> he just hands me a slab of meat. Go. Stick that to your wall. <laughs> It'll smell great during the summer, I promise. Oyster and mussel? Here's the mussel you ordered. Hop on in, Igly. I fattened them up well over these last eight months. You just want me to, uh, hop into the water, yeah? Excellent. <laughs> Is the hot dog glistening now? I don't think it was shining with such ferocity before. But it, it, it's, real, it's really, like, emanating, isn't it? Ah! Can we eat sea cucumber? Just toss them in the dish. I can't promise it'll taste good, but I can promise that the taste will be explosive. 
Oyster baby. Muscle? Muscle! You really, you really made, uh, made me have to catch those two little ingredients out in the most, like, desolate quadrant of this ocean. What do you look, what, what do you eye in there, Sly? I'll look too intently at the, at the, at the glistening glizzy. Now it's the last dish. What's the final piece of the Triforce that we've been cooking up? The quad, quad four. I, I didn't think that one through. <gasps> Any anxiety you've given me, any turmoil you've put me through, water, you know, wading through that gross sewage water that surrounds my denny's like a moat of lava leading to a dragon's castle. Any sadness you've given me has been flushed and washed away, Franklin. Do I have a sea bass? Oh god, yes, do I have a sea bass for you? Ah, yes. Do not ask for whom the bell tolls. It tolls the entire sea bass population. Now a red snapper. I will admit, will be a little bit tricky. They are of a much rarer variety. I don't think it's going to be the uh, the simplest task to snatch up one of those. But if we can find a mussel and an oyster in the same little run. Hey, Franklin, I got what you asked for. Take him. Take him, please. Ah! Get those sparkles off of it. Those are non-edible. You just pick those up at like a party city. Don't throw those around all willy-nilly like that. It's gonna get in our lungs. The whole island will be dead in a week. I wonder what happened if we went off recipe with a few of the ingredients. Bring me any ingredients you think you might might work. You think any ingredients you think might work, Franklin? You're letting me cook? Oh, Franklin! Please try my sea slug pumpkin pie, just like father would make. He is not the cook in the household. Oh, it's still like scripted recipes. I was really aiming to have the stomachs of all my Animal Crossing villagers pumped in about 20 minutes from now. Feel free to partake in the wonderful PNGs currently sitting upon the table. Feel free to consume every single bite of the food you have been preparing. Yes, good. Nice, nice update. I'm giving it my A game today. Everyone's uh, here gonna taste my food and they won't regret it. Hazel, you have no food and you have basic kitchen appliances. You have a sink, Hazel. Can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they've had a bite. Hazel, do you have a refrigerator? Hazel, how long ago did you buy this meat? I can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they keel over dead in the ER. Ah, uh, yes. Truly delectable food. Hmm. Mm, this pitch manure tastes oddly like Cheetos. Franklin, you made paper mache food. None of this is real. Even the smoothies are made of piss. Franklin, it's just, it's your piss, Franklin. You haven't provided us with a single morsel of food, Franklin. You're a fraud. This is why we tried to kill you off in the opening Animal Crossing games. Get your stupid little hat out of my face. This is Benedict's home, yeah? Benedict. Buddy. It's a wonderful day to come outside. Hang out in the nice, warm sun. Don't worry. I'll be right here waiting for you, friend. Franklin's gonna love what I'm bringing to the table next, is all I'm saying. <laughs> You're giving me a, a, a Dungeness crab? Is it wrong to pick up crabs in a Dungeness? <laughs> My favorite anime. <laughs> Can someone please draw? <laughs> is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Is it wrong to pick up crabs in a Dungeness? See, here on Denny's, we only cook the most exquisite dishes for your palate. We don't stop halfway. Either you eat the upper limit of the infinite pancakes being 10 pancakes, or you don't get to go home. They're not even tall enough to sit at the table. <laughs> They're all like, actually, can we make this table a little bit smaller? <laughs> they can't see the food. <laughs> He's taking photos of the legs of the furniture. Well, Franklin, I appreciate what you've done here today. Finally, I can cash in on this island. You've gathered all the villagers in one spot. We will be eating good today, Franklin, I promise you that. But it's because I'll be eating you as an appetizer for my mom's scalped oysters. Like, I'd say you're the main dish, but I don't know. Goddamn, man. <laughs> Those oysters like another family member to me.